In today's lunch break, we're celebrating National Pizza Day with the Oakville Grill and Cellar. Chef Max Robbins joins us now with a fresh margarita pizza. Also a preview of some of the other great pizzas you have and the brunch pizza. Yeah, absolutely. So before we get started, let's talk about the three signature pizzas that you guys have. So at Oakville, we kind of have a rotating pizza list. So we have some specials, we have a brunch pizza. These are the three that we're featuring right now. So we've got our margarita pizza. Uh, we've got our pepperoni pizza and then our spinach and kale pizza. And all of our pizzas are going to be a little bit lighter, a little crisp, a little crunchy, and really focus on high quality ingredients. That's kind of our ethos uh, at Oakville is just high quality ingredients simply done and done well. And the spinach and kale, that one, it's not like you would traditionally get the spinach where it's soft. It's crunchy, right? Yeah, and it's 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 nice. The spinach kind of like dehydrates and crisps a little in the oven. This is the one that is not going to have red sauce on it, so it's going to have a, a white sauce and then some garlic, roasted garlic on the bottom, and then spinach and kale and a lot of nice cheese. So I, I love it. I think it's great. Great ideas. And then tell me about the yeah. brunch one, because that one sounds so good. Yeah, I know you brunch, didn't bring it. <laughs> brunch people love. Actually, it started, it was a special when we first opened up uh, that had bacon and onion and also a white sauce. And then we decided to put an egg on it as we lost brunch. Yeah, and it's been a real popular item. Bacon and eggs. Yeah, you can't go wrong, right? All right. Well, let's get started making our pizza today. What do you think is kind of the key to making a good pizza at home? I think, so making a pizza at home, I think learning the technique, right, with all cooking, just like simply kind of learning and understanding how to do things, and then going little by little. We don't want to like go too crazy right away, and with pizza, you don't want to overdress it. If you put too much cheese on, if you put too many toppings on, you're not going to get a good crust, you're going to get too much moisture coming out, right. you're not going to get a good rise. So I think start slow, and then kind of add from there, right? And I know one of the other tips you said is put some semolina underneath yeah. so that it's not sticking. And Absolutely. that's different than the flour you use originally, you know, to kind of toss it. Yeah, so this this flour is what we're going to use to kind of stop it from sticking to the cutting board or whatever kind of uh, surface you're using. And then you're going to use the semolina, which is a lot coarser. It's like a cornmeal. So that when you go to launch the pizza, you get a little bit of wiggle. So these doughs, I just barely, barely set in the oven, but it's kind of be like a raw dough because I didn't want to have us toss around and get too messy, but it's right. going to be a really great platform for you okay. if you want to start building your own pizza. Oh, You've yeah. got our tomato sauce that we use, California tomatoes. We've got a blend of East Coast cheeses and a couple other toppings that are featured on our pizzas in the restaurant. All right. All right. While we start making it, I want you to tell me about your happy hours because you just started this sort of special happy hour idea, right? Yeah, I think that we're, we really wanted to be since we opened up a neighborhood restaurant. So being in the Fulton Market area, being in kind of that West Loop area, we've got so many people who are kind of looking for fun things to do before they go out or after work. So we launched this really great special. Everything's $8. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's such a great space. We're looking at the pictures now. I mean, obviously, you know, in the spring, even better, right? But it, it's so beautiful inside as well. And we've got these really wonderful windows that open up all the way. So it's kind of this inside outside, a lot of greenery in the dining room. So it really gives you that Napa Valley, California vibe. All right. I like a lot of crust. I'm going to let you build yours yeah, the sure. way you want. And you've got some mushrooms in here, too, which I love because most of my family doesn't like mushrooms on their pizza. So I get to put some mushrooms on. Yeah, today. These mushrooms are great. They're roasted in the oven, uh, so they get a lot of flavor. And that's one technique for if you have an ingredient like a mushroom that has more of a water content to it. What you don't want to do is put it in raw because you're going to get a lot of that water leaching out on the pizza. Right. So some mushrooms, if you cut them thin, that's fine. But these mushrooms are meatier and have a lot more water in them. These are like hen of the woods mushrooms. Oh, nice. So we pre-roast them, and then they get a really nice kind of dark char to it. Did so. you roast them in anything with some flavor, or no, you don't just, want them to get any more seasoning? Just a little bit of light oil, a little bit of salt, but not too much, right? Because the idea of a pizza is to taste the dough, to taste the sauce. Right. It's not just about the mushrooms. So you kind of want to let everything blend together, right? I think that's the interesting thing. It's like the simplicity of yeah. it that people don't, you know, you think you have to do too much. No, and it's usually the opposite. And I think that's, the true with a lot of our food and California cuisine in general is like finding the best products. So we kind of test different mushrooms. We test different cooking techniques. We do things like that. And with our fish, whether it's our meat, we really care a lot about the ranchers and the, and the purveyors that we partner with. Uh, we use, try to use a lot of local places, bring a lot of stuff in from California. The olive oil that. we use, we bring in. So I think the less you do to a good product, the better it is. Same with pizza. When you eat a good pizza, most of the time for me, I remember 
a really good crust, a really crunchy kind yes, of toasty that's crunch, the best part. really good sauce, right? But very rarely am I like, oh, I love this pizza because it had a wacky, crazy topping. It's about simplicity. And obviously for our food, pairing it with wine, we don't want to do too much. If we go too spicy or too many flavors, it can right. be conflicting. So we want to keep things simple and delicious and classic. We want to use a lot of seasonal produce and keep things light and fresh. And you do have a tremendous wine list, which is really, yeah. really nice. It's about 750 bottles, all California wine list. Uh, I think it's the largest all California wine list outside of California. We've got the cellar door, which is an incredible intimate experience for a small group where you can get the same wines and the same experience that the vineyard is featuring in California. And that kind of rotates each month. So a really great experience Ooh. that I recommend booking. Feel like we're being transported to California, yeah. but we're right here. I love yeah. it. Well, happy National Pizza Day. Thank you for coming in and telling yeah, us about you. it. And I know you do have some reservations for Valentine's Day as well. You can check those out and all the specials running from Saturday through February 17th. They're at 163 North Green Street. Online, you can find them at theoakville.com. Post the recipe, kind of watch the pizzas coming together on our website, wgntv.com slash midday.